Hey, I'm Jeremy Jacobus from Brunch Boys. Today we are going to be making the super decadent lobster mac and cheese. So working in the food business has made me appreciate the highest quality foods and shopping at Fairway lets me buy those highest quality foods. It's the best meat, it's the best fish, and it's the best produce. And as a lifelong New Yorker, it is really important to me to shop at a supermarket that represents the food and stomachs of all New Yorkers. Okay, so the first step to your lobster mac and cheese is obviously your lobster. And we want to put it in a little a little bath uh, for like 10 to 12 minutes. Let's get them in the pot. Okay, so the lobster's been cooking for about 12 minutes. What we want to do is give it a little ice bath, and that'll make it easier to pull out all the meat. Okay, so now that our lobster is good to go, it is time to start on the cheese sauce. And like every cheese sauce, we want to start with the roux. So we want to start with the butter and flour. So the next thing we want to do, take our heavy cream here. Okay, now we have our three cups of Vermont cheddar, and this is like a real salty, real like sharp cheese. Hold on to about like a fistful of cheese at the ends, because we're gonna sprinkle more cheese on top of this. So Fairway has a huge selection of cheeses, so, uh, and if you're not sure what you wanna get, just ask the cheesemonger, they'll never steer you wrong, don't worry. All right, so we have our pasta here. We've let it boil for about six minutes. Stir this together. Oh yeah, this is looking good. We are almost there. But first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that knuckle meat and that leg meat, because that meat is so tender that we're gonna add it in first and start mixing it in. Okay, so now we have the rest of the lobster meat and we are going to place it right on top there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these under the broiler. Don't walk away, keep an eye on them. Once it starts browning and bubbly, you are good to go. So we're out of the oven. It's all bubbly and cheesy. It's time to eat. Guys, it was super easy to create a super delicious dish with the best ingredients possible. So I'm gonna sit here and finish my two bowls and uh, see you next time.